sin sabor no le, no le vaya a, a, a quitar su, su promoción, ¿verdad? Hello, Carla, how are you today? How are you today, Carla? How are you, Carla? How are you, Carla? Good evening. Good evening, Carla. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. And you? Ah, okay. Hello. Thanks. Okay. Very good. Very good. How was your day today? Busy day or easy day? Excuse me? How was your day today? It was an easy day or a busy day? Easy, fast. Easy day. And busy, ocupado. It was an easy day. Um, a little. ¿Cómo se dice? Un poquito. A little. ¿De los dos? A, a little of both. A, a little, little of both. A of, little. Of both. A little of both. Both, uh -huh. un poquito de ambos. Ok. Very good, very good. Ok, remember that today we are. Ah, did you print the material for week two? Yes. Yes, very good. Hello, Marlon, how are you today? Yes. Good evening, Marlon, how are you today? Hello, teacher. How are you? I am fine. Thanks for asking. How was your day today? Easy day? Busy day? A stressful day? Um, so, so. <laughs> so, so. Okay, good. Did you bring the material for week two? Um, okay. No print and digital. Ah, in digital. Okay, very good. But you have it with you. Okay, very good. So have it ready. Good evening, Cindy. How are you today? Good evening, Cindy. How are you today? I am okay. Thank you. I'm okay. Okay, very Thank you. good. Very good. Did you have a, a busy day or an easy day? Okay. No comprendo. <laughs> Okay, did you have a busy day, un día ocupado, or an easy day, un día fácil? A busy day, un día ocupado. An easy day, un día fácil. Busy, ocupado. Busy, ajá, busy. B-U-S-Y. I have a busy day. <laughs> Ah, you had a busy day. Okay, good. Okay. Let me see that the other ones uh, connect to the video conference. Okay. Okay. Ah, did you print the material for week number two? 
Sí, sí, tengo el Yes, I do. Ok, ok, very good, very good. Excellent, excellent. We are going to need the material, ok? Ok. Ok. Good evening, Hector. How are you today? Good evening, Hector. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Okay, very good. Uh, did you have a busy day or an easy day? Busy day, ocupado, día ocupado. Easy day, día fácil. An easy day, okay. Uh, do you have the material for week two? Yes. yes, very good. And Paulo, good evening, Paulo. How are you today? Good, e good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, did you have a busy day or an easy day? Uh, excuse me, I don't understand. <laughs> Be busy day, día ocupado. Easy day, día fácil. Busy day. Busy day, okay. Okay, so let me share with you, okay? No he empezado con la, la plataforma hasta mañana. Ah, okay, no problem. Okay, no problem because uh, you already have 100% in week one. So we are okay. So when we say busy day, busy day, okay? Busy day. Okay. And on the other hand, when we say an easy day. Okay, so that is fácil, an easy day. So busy day and easy day. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, let's see who else is in... Hello, Liliana. Hi, Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Hi, thanks. Okay, how was your day? Busy day or busy day? Busy. busy very, day. very busy day. Very busy day. Okay, very good. Brenda. Good evening, Brenda. How are you today? Good evening. I'm fine. Okay, how was your day? Busy day? or easy day? Good evening. Busy day, ocupado. Día ocupado. Easy day, día fácil. How was your day? Good evening, Francisca. How are you today? Good evening. Very good. Francisca, very good. Excellent. Very good. Excellent, very good. Okay. Hey, everybody, did you get the material for week number two, right? Yes. Okay, and I hope that you have it ready with you, okay? Because we are going to need it all the week. Good uh, evening, uh, Vicente. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Okay, how was your day? A busy day or an easy day? A hard day. A hard day. Oh, I'm Thank sorry you. for you, Vicente. Really sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. So we have three, seven, nine. So it's like 45%. Ah, Carla is here. Okay, seven, nine. Okay, 45% of the class. Okay, let's see what we have for today. Okay. Let me share with you, okay? This is uh, basic model number two. Oh, I'm sorry. This is for unit one, okay? Let me see. Let me take this away. And let me bring the material for...
Okay, now, this is unit number two. Okay? So let me share it with you. Okay? Uh, so we have unit number two. Its name is Ongoing Activities at the Workplace. Okay? And I'm going to ask you, as usual, students must attend to sessions every day. Attendance will be taken three times on each session. And you should have your camera on when saying present. Students must say verbally present. Platform completion, congratulations, all of you. I'm very proud, you did a good job, okay? So you're supposed to do your task, the homework, on the daily basis, right? And weekly task completion grade will be uploaded weekly, okay? So the majority of you got 100%, so congratulations. And you should participate on the forum. That is when they upload the video conference video, there is a, a question and sometimes discussion or opinions. So you should give your opinion or you should uh, do what is, it is asked to see, okay? Uh, in support, take with good eyes that you uh, participate on the forum, okay? And today we are going to have video conference number six, the simple present affirmative and negative statements with uh, say the class objective is to say how frequently I do an activity in the workplace, okay? And the agenda introduce the topic, answer and answer introduction, introduction questions, listen, read and role play a conversation. Probably we are going to listen to two people talking about how often they check emails and study the grammar chart and do exercises using adverbs of frequency in the simple present tense. And then if we have time, we are going to talk about how frequently you do your routines, okay? Very good. Now, with that being said, okay, let me, okay, let me see how many we have. Catherine, welcome. Okay, so we have 10 students, okay? I don't know what happens with the other ones. Okay, well, very good. Let me share with you the book, okay? Okay, so on page number, page number uh, uh, 19, on page 19, on page 19, you have a unit two, okay? Which is ongoing activities at the workplace. That's the name of unit two. And to, in today's class, we will be able to say how frequently I do an activity in the workplace, okay? Now, to begin with is how often do you check your email? You understand the meaning of how often? ¿Qué tan a menudo, qué tan frecuente do you check your email at work? And how often do you attend meetings? Okay, now I'm going to place you in pairs, okay? And I ask, and I want you to ask these questions to your classmates. Complete. How often do you check your email at work? Look at the answer. I check my email at work three times, okay? I check my email at work frequently. I usually check my email. I never check my email. Is that clear? Okay, very good. So I want you to go in pairs, please, and check and ask and answer the questions, please, okay? so. Uh, let's go to groups and five groups because we are very few today. Okay, go ahead. Uh, go ahead.
Go ahead, join your group, please. Go ahead and join your little group and ask and answer the questions, please. Hector, go to group number one where Liliana is. Francisca, okay, very good. Catherine, go to group number five where Carla is. Hector, group number one, please, where uh, Liliana is. Hector, hello, Hector. Okay, very good. Hello. Hi. Only one question. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. What is the question? How often do you check email? Uh huh. How often do you check your emails, Liliana? I check my email frequently. Frequently. Okay. Very good. Okay. Next question, Hector. How often do you attend meetings? I attend meetings um, four times per week. Uh huh. Four times per week or four times a week. Okay. Four it's times a week. Okay. okay. Karen, are you there? Hello, Karen. Karen, Karen, hello, Karen Stephanie Flores. Hello, Karen. Hello. Teacher, bueno, Ajá. Yo entendí de la parte. Okay. Teacher, solo a practicar la conversación, entendí yo. No, no, solo a, a contestar las preguntas, hacernos las preguntas y contestar las preguntas. Ah, ajá, eso no es el part. Ajá. En de la primera, ¿verdad? How okay. often ask, you... ask the question to Brenda. How often? Number one, question number one, Francisca. How often do you check your email at work? Uh -huh. Uh -huh, Brenda. Brenda, I check my email. I check email. Uh -huh. Every day. Every day. Okay, now question number two, Francisca. How often? How often... Uh, do you, attend, do you attend meetings? Uh -huh, is the second one. How often? I often uh, check uh, email. Oh, no, number two. Number two. How often? Ah, uh, how often do you attend meetings? Uh -huh. How often do you attend meetings? Mm -hmm. Attend meetings is asistir a reuniones. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, Brenda? Para decir no asisto. I never, yo nunca, I never, uh -huh, repeat after me, I never, I never, I never, assist meetings, assist, I never attend, attend, I'm sorry, I never attend meetings, I never attend, meetings, 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 meetings. Okay, now you ask the questions to Francisca, Brenda. Brenda, ask the questions to Francisca. Number one, how, how often, often do you check your email at work? Okay, very good. Uh -huh. um, um, I, I often check, check my email, uh, my email uh, every day. Okay, I check my email every day or I often check my email. Oh, I very often. Good. Okay, very good. Next. Oh, Next question. How often do you attend meetings? Attend, attend meetings. Attend meetings. Uh huh, exactly. How often do you attend meetings? Once. 
One a uh, with a uh, once 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 a uh, with a uh, with a uh, Aston Mirren. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, guys, I hope that you had a good chance to practice. Okay. I can see that we have uh, uh -huh, wheels, the same, the same 10 people. Okay, very good. So let's continue with the next, with the conversation, okay? Listen, listen and I will perform this conversation. How often do you check your email? every two hours and you well i try to check it as often as i can and how often do you call your clients i often call them once a week on monday but i usually call them on friday to check their order do you call clients yes i always call them first thing in the morning I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? Questions about pronunciation or vocabulary? Often. Often, pronunciation. Don't pronounce the T. Often. 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 Awesome. Okay, more questions? Eh, la pronunciación de but I usually. Usually, usually. Repeat after me. Usually. 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 Uh -huh. Very good. More questions? <laughs> No more questions? Okay, repeat after me. How often do you check your email? How often do you check your email? Every two hours, can you? Every two hours, can you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? Wow. Well, I try to check it. How often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call your clients? Okay, yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. All the time. You are right. You are right. All right. Okay, very good. Once again, how often do you check your email? How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? Wow. I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? I often I call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? 
Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. Yes, yes. I, I always call them all the time. You are right. You are right. You are right. Okay, now it's time for you to practice the conversation. So I'm going to break you into pairs. And remember, you're going to practice it two times. You are going to be John two times, and you are going to be Anne two times, okay? So you're going to practice the conversation four times, okay? Very good. Here we go. Let me see right here. Okay, into pairs. Let me see how many we have. Let me see. Okay, we have... 13, so we're going to make six groups, okay, seven groups. Okay, here we go. Go ahead, join your pair, please. Okay. Join your group. Jacqueline, group number one. Catherine, group number one. Francisca, group number two. Eduardo, group number two. Cristina, Ah. Present. Okay, wait, wait. Okay. Uh, and where is Angela? Okay, Christina and Angela, practice, please. Okay. Vicente. Okay. And Cindy. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Cindy, we are going to practice this conversation. Okay, Cindy? Cindy, Cindy, are you there, Cindy? Hello. Okay. Here I am. <laughs> okay. Okay, Vicente, I will be there with you in two minutes, okay? In two minutes, hold on. Okay. Okay, I'll be there, okay? Let me get into this. I'm going to practice with Cindy and then I'm going to practice with you, okay? Okay. Okay, very good. Uh, let me see the groups. Okay, right here. Cindy, Cindy, Cindy. Vicente. Okay, here. Okay, Cindy, can you hear? Okay. Okay, so we're going to practice this conversation real fast, and then I'm going to move with Vicente, okay? Can you see the conversation? Yes. Okay, I'm going to be John. You are going to be Anne. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday. But I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Now you are John and I am Anne. Go ahead. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it's, it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Now, I'm going to practice with Vincent, okay? So hold on. I'm here, Vincent. Okay, I'm going to share the screen. Okay, so you can see the, the conversation. Okay, I am John, you are Anne. How often do you okay. check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can, 
And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, let's switch. Now you are John, I am Anne. Okay, how often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. Okay, very good. Now, we are going to break. Okay, okay. we are going to come back to, with the whole class, okay? Yeah, I think. Okay, very good, guys. Excellent. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Eda Nilsson. Good evening, Angela. Good evening, Cristina. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, very good. Okay. Very good that you are here. Okay. Very, uh, good evening, Jacqueline. And good evening, Karen and Stephanie. Good evening, teacher. I'm sorry. Por, lo siento por llegar tarde. I'm sorry for coming late. I'm sorry for coming late. I'm sorry for coming late. No problem, okay? No problem, okay, you are here. Okay, now, let's go and answer the, the questions in the comprehension questions, okay? Now, how often, okay, read, everybody, read question number one. How often does Anne check? How often does and check how her often does Anne check her email? Okay, how often does Anne check her email? How every often does Anne every check her email? Every two hours. Every two hours. So, Anne checks her email every two hours, okay? And look, by a meeting. Aunque parezca así ridículo, pero tratemos de contestar lo más largo posible. Así practico más. Si yo digo every two hours, it's okay. The answer is perfect. Okay? But in order to practice, Anne checks her email every two hours. Okay, question number two. Why is, why, is check check why is it important to check the email every day? Huh? Why is it important? Well, I, I try to check. To have contact with them all the time. Okay, to have contact with clients all the time. What is another answer? Give me another answer. Your opinion, your opinion. Ah. Angela, Cristina, what is your opinion? Why is it important to check the email every day? It is important for to have contact with them all the time. Okay. Uh -huh. Liliana, why is it important to check your email every day? My opinion. Yeah, your opinion, your opinion. I think it is important to check email every day because we have to be updated of all the things that are happening around. Okay, very good. Jacqueline, why is it important to check your email every day to you? It's important because because, because, because my my boss uh -huh. uh, write uh, an email every day. Okay, very good. Francisca, why is it important for you to check the email every day? It's important para diligenciar mi trabajo. Uh -huh. To do my job well. To do my job well. Uh -huh. Tell me, to do? To do my job well. My job well. Okay. Hector, why is it important to check your email every day? 
It is important to check the email because there I receive information for a client, logistic and customer. Okay, very good. And then Ilson, why is it important to check the email every day? Uh, it's important uh, uh, to, to know uh, all the information in, uh, with the, the customers. And, okay, very and, good. And Vicente, why is it important to check your email every day? And uh, it is important to follow on the price quotation sent for the okay. clients. Okay, very good. Carla, why is it important to check the email every day? Because, because it is important for the information uh, to work, uh, no, to the work, to the class. Okay, very good. Marlon, why is it important to check your email every day? Uh, it, it's uh, very important to respond quickly uh, to our customer and business partner. Okay, very good. Catherine, why is it important to check your email every day? Karen and Stephanie, why is it important to check your email every day? Turn on your microphone, Karen. Okay, very good. Turn on your microphone. Okay. It is important to, uh, ¿cómo se dice evitar? To avoid, avoid. Avoid. It is important to avoid legal problems. Okay. To, to the nature or of my work, I am accountant. Okay, for the nature of your work. Okay, very good. And Cindy, why is it important to check email every day? It's important to check email for now the activities, the week, for example. Okay, very good. Very good. Now, if we go to pay, to page... Uh, number 20, we have how to use frequency adverbs, okay? Now, use frequency adverbs, adverbs to say how frequently an activity happens. Okay, repeat after me. Always. 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 Usually. 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 Normally. 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 Often. Often. Sometimes. 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 Occasionally. Occasionally. Uh -huh. Seldom. 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 Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Rarely. Rarely. Never. 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 Okay. Repeat after me. I always get up at five o'clock. I always, I always get up at 5 o'clock. He usually drives to work. He usually he drives to work. work. He normally checks her email. No, she normally checks her email. I often have breakfast at work. I often have breakfast at work. She sometimes uses the microwave. She sometimes uses I occasionally work overtime. I occasionally work overtime. We seldom take calls at work. We seldom take calls at work. He rarely has conferences. He rarely has conferences. I never get late to work. I never, I never get, late late get, late late get late to work. To work. Okay, and if you notice, if you notice the adverb of frequency is between the subject and the verb. Between the subject and the verb. Between the subject and the verb. 
between the subject and the verb. Between the subject and the verb. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Clear. Now, do you have any questions about the meaning of these adverbs of frequency? Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Okay, ask what's, me. What's, what's mean seldom? Seldom, rara veces. Okay. Poca veces, Thank you. rara Thank veces, you. poca veces. Okay, what else? Hardly ever, ever. Hardly ever. Hardly, hardly ever, escasamente. Rarely, raramente. Okay? Seldom and rarely. Seldom, poca, so, eh, poca veces o rara veces. Okay? My, microwave. Microwave, microonda, microwave. Thank you. Okay, more questions? No more questions. Okay, no I want questions. you to go, before we start doing this, I want you to go to the material. Okay? You remember the material that I sent you? Yes. Yes? yes. yes? Okay. Yes, so go to the material, please. Okay? Okay, so we have all, okay, the most common adverbs of frequency. Okay? Where do adverbs of frequency go? Adverbs of frequency show you how often something happens. This can be always 100% or never 0%, okay? So we have always, usually, regularly, normally, often, sometimes, occasionally, rarely, seldom, and never, okay? Now, these adverbs of frequency can go before the main verb. Can you see here? Subject, I. Auxil uh, adverb. Okay. Adverb of frequency, always. always. And the verb, get up. I always get up at 6.45. Peter can usually, if we have an auxiliary verb, we use uh, the adverb of frequency after the auxiliary. Peter can usually play football on Sunday. Mandy has sometimes, oh my God.